All right, welcome back, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, hopefully, you guys are uh, enjoying the uh, the treasure hunt of all the neat and interesting 2022 coins that are currently in circulation today. Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of stuff, and people are certainly uh, adding some pretty neat uh, finds to their collection. And in addition to the folks out there who uh, who like the arbitrage opportunity. They are certainly uh, making the most of it, as uh, some of these coins have been hitting it pretty big um, on eBay and other areas of the secondary market. Uh, but the main uh, topic for this video, we are going to go ahead and uh, kind of revisit the 2022 Wilma Mankiller Quarter Retain Cut Die Break, either the single-sided or the double-sided variant of both of those particular errors that was the first discovered Almost a month ago, uh, that's about when I had done my video um, uh, kind of promoting this particular error and how it's kind of a big deal. And here we are, roughly 30 days later, and uh, doing some research and, and just keeping tabs on on uh, what people are finding out there. Just keeping my pulse on the, the forum chat pages, on social media. I've come up to the conclusion that there aren't too many of these that have been found. And I'm willing to bet that this one dis was discovered quite early on. Um, it's pretty crazy. This is a crazy coin that I think will become extremely expensive in time. Don't know how much uh, we're looking at. Uh, I could tell you how much the most expensive example of this coin has sold for it's actually the one that you see here on screen we're going to look at this in a second uh but i have um uh, after doing some work and research there is less than 10 that have been documented and um uh sold or found uh one of the two um you know people that have found them had not necessarily publicized them on social media or through the forum chat pages like coin community coin talk or any of those outfits um but they just go on and sell it right on ebay uh you know and make however much they want to make off of them uh a few of them have sold on the cheap i mean extremely dirt cheap uh coins so this one right here sold july 23rd 2022 uh this one here original asking price was a thousand dollars which i i believe that one day it will hit that based off of just raw numbers and data gathered up to this point um you figure for a coin with a lot of hype generated around it that there would be more people looking for it um and there have been people looking for it and a lot of the the roles that have been discovered a lot of them are coming up empty um we're gonna actually look at, at some of those roles being sold on ebay um, and you know, there, there is again, some arbitrage opportunity. If you were to ask certain people, a lot of folks will say, yeah, I'd rather sell the rolls because I can, I know I could get two to three times face value for each roll, which is pretty gosh darn good right now. So this example right here is uh, the first one I wanted to show you. This is actually the more advanced stage of this progressive, uh, obverse pre-cud, I guess is what you could say. And it also has the reverse die crack that doesn't quite go rim to rim, but boy, it is phenomenal looking. Uh, this one right here uh, ended up selling for $650. Um, the person that did purchase this actually commented on one of my previous videos to uh, let myself and everybody know that that he is indeed the buyer of this coin and he won it for $650. He also purchased one of the other coins, which we'll sh see here sometime in this video, uh, one of the cheap examples. He actually sniped it before anyone else caught wind of what it was and picked one up on the cheap. All right, so he did pay $650, which effectively sets the high mark for this coin. Um, and now that we're, you know, three weeks, four weeks in, to the process of finding this coin and only a few of them have made their way onto the secondary market i will say 650 is probably pretty cheap for this coin so if you look here uh, atop washington said you're going to see a, a die break all right uh that goes rim to rim uh, goes into mr washington's head area 
but on the piece of retained cud, you still have design elements, okay? Which means that it's not a full, complete 100% break of that die. It didn't fall out somewhere. Um, the die's still there. It's still striking coins with some sort of um, uh, uh, design detail and devices. Um, you're also going to see that there's quite a bit of displacement here, so there's really no um, disputing what this is. But take if you look all around the coin, this being the more advanced stage of this anomaly, you're going to see that this obverse die is toe up from the flow up. Take a look at all the little die cracks. You got one right on the forehead. You got one here back of the scalp. Uh, if we go toward the bottom here, you have um, just an amazing amount of little interior die breaks and cracks right by the nose and corner of Washington's mouth. And it even cracks into the date area and then down all the way to the, uh, the rim area underneath the tip of the bust. Uh, so this thing has a lot of things going for it. Um, it's quite impressive. And then when you look on the reverse, okay, two things that you're going to notice. You're going to notice this pretty substantial die crack, uh, which, again, has some pretty serious displacement for, for it not going all the way through. You can see it stops there right at the letter M in Man Killer. Um, but for it not completely breaking across the die, uh, this is pretty phenomenal to see this kind of displacement, you know, just... Uh, take a look at the star, how it's shifted. Uh, the bottom part of the star shifted over to the right a little bit underneath that crack. Um, and then take a look at the word America, all right? From the letter R onwards, you can see that it's shifted upwards, which is insane. This thing is pretty crazy. Um, but the coin itself is is it, um, just a mystery. Like, how in the world does the U.S. Mint um, which I'd like to say that they have some sort of semblance of quality control, right? Even though it hasn't been that good, how can they allow X amount of these to be produced? All right, uh, you could say the same thing about last year's 2021 Lincoln Cent Retained Cud. That thing is amazing. Um, yet there was quite a bit of them that actually made their way to the marketplace. Um, but, you, you know, this is a very, quote unquote, similar type of error. Um, on this coin here and this is one that I think and um, it, you know I, I'm kind of like 50 50 on the word I think uh, because I believe that this coin is going to be quite scarce um, again I, I really think that the U.S. Mint probably found out about this one right away uh, they actually probably identified the reverse die of this one as being pretty terminal at this point and they swap this out and i'm going to tell you why uh that they did swap out the reverse die and not the obverse die which is why we're finding examples of this coin with just the re uh the obverse or front design with washington on there um the front design uh retain cut hopefully i didn't lose you guys there so um yeah pretty amazing uh this coin th this is on my hit list and uh uh, there's just none out there. The, the The market is dry at this point, and um, uh, the the, the rolls uh, they're coming up pretty empty too. Although there are people selling 2022 P Wilma Mankiller rolls, um, they're not in the region. A lot of these coins are being sourced and found in the state of Florida, along with a few other areas within the southeast. Um, probably the coins originated from the uh the fed reserve bank in atlanta and then it gets distributed all across the southeast region of the u.s but um yeah take a look at miss wilma right here there's also a bunch of like little cracks uh that one there in the back of the hair that's a very common one uh on all of the 2022 p uh coins uh and i think there's probably been a few that have been discovered on the denver minted coins just that little crack there at the back of her hair um it seems to be like a weak weak spot a weak area on the die unfortunately but um yeah this uh, this coin is pretty amazing 650 dollars is what this one sold for now here's the other variant that sold uh on the 20th so about a week ago 360 dollars. we got 12 bids bids here on this one take note mobile alabama 
is where this one was discovered and that's the uh the seller's um originating area so uh yeah we're, we're seeing this all the way to um alabama um as evidenced by this particular sale but what you'll find on this particular coin this has the obverse um retained cud all right but uh, this is really not a good picture but the the coin is struck through as well with a lot of grease this is actually um, a, a pretty phenomenal find. I had my eye on this one and did, didn't get to it. Um, I didn't want to pay over $300. I guess that's more my problem than anyone else's because that's probably what it's worth, you know, three to $400, as you can see from the sale price. Uh, but you can see just copious amounts of uh, strike through, which means that this particular die uh, had quite a bit of compound or grease on there. Um, so when it strikes through the grease, it's going to leave a lot of the devices virtually uh, non-existent in this case uh, because it does have to strike through that area. Uh, here's uh, another image, this time on the reverse. Now, you'll notice that this this is the coin I was talking about that just has the obverse retained cut, but it doesn't have it on the reverse, that die crack. And that's why I, I believe and I theorize that the reverse die was exchanged at one point it was discovered that it had this massive die crack just supreme die failure at this point um and they replaced it so when they replace things like this they'll lube it up and get it all greased up and you know ready to go and that's why we see a lot of grease on both sides of the obverse and the reverse of the coin as a strike through you're going to see that there's quite a bit of weakness here as well you have this amount of weakness here which is where the retain cut is on the opposite side that shows on all examples the star is very well weak as well i like this image here uh so a regular quarter and then the quarter in question that was sold here on the left uh, you'll see that all of the uh the push through of the grease goes outwards toward the edge of the coin uh, and that's why you have a lot more weakness on the edge area here um, there's your retain cut there's a much better picture. Unfortunately, it's not the whole coin, but you guys can get a general idea of what that looks like. Here's the reverse, a uh, much better image compared to the previous. These are all very different images coming from the seller. It's very inconsistent, unfortunately. Um, and that's what you want. You want consistent photos across all of them that you do take. Um, you know, understanding that you need to try out different lighting sources, but... Don't just throw it all in the listing, um, you know, like this, uh, because it's not a good look. It's not a good look for the coin, but, uh, you know, that's the most important thing is you need to proper, properly display it so that way it's front and center. Me personally, I love this image that I'm seeing here right now. It's a full, complete picture. It's very clear. You can see the, the um, retain cut right there at k12 area which is a 12 o'clock position as if you're looking at a clock uh but this is just a phenomenal looking coin so 360 dollars is what this one sold for 12 bids this is the only example as of right now that was sold organically through uh through a standard auction so this one was put on for seven days so this one was originally found right around the 12th and 13th of the month um and there you go. Uh, sold three hundred sixty dollars. Uh, pretty good amount of money, but this may may be you know a little bit cheaper. But this coin that you see here, there are more of these that have made their way into the marketplace than the other example with the double sided error event. Um, so when we go on to eBay, uh, so I simply type in Wilma Mankiller error. There's nothing else that's going to come up. There's been eighty five results, and they're all mixed. You know, from little die cracks to various other anomalies that people are finding. Uh, but if we scroll down, okay, we're starting from newer. So this is July 25th. All right. Uh, not a lot of errors have sold for this particular American Women series of quarter. If we get to the first expensive listing, um, which is this one that sold for $650. This was on the 23rd, so a few days ago. The next one, so that's good. Wait, let's count together. That's one. Uh, this is another good one people are finding. Uh, there, there's some pretty big die cracks and uh, interior di um, die breaks and chips 
on um, on these that look quite impressive. Uh, people are selling them for about I don't know twenty bucks or so on average. Uh, we have this one here that we also highlighted that sold for three hundred and sixty dollars. Uh, here's another one right here. I believe this is the one that the other person had had purchased along with the one for six fifty. This is the one that I also purchased. See, it's funny. It says or best offer. You know, it's like screw that. I'm just gonna buy it because it's way cheap for what it is. So there's one. Someone obviously didn't know what they had, sold it for $100, and uh, that's it. I, I think they were playing off of what the previous uh, sold listings were for just regular cuts. Um, there's only a few of them. Here's another one right here. Uh, this looks to, uh, that's, um, this one right here is a dupe listing. All right, so this is the same coin. Uh, the first sale didn't go through. The second one did for $650. Uh, take a look at this one right here. Uh, now the cool thing about this one, I believe this is the one that has just the obverse, uh, retained cud and yes, it doesn't have the, well, it has what looks to be probably the beginning stages of the die crack. You can see the crack there between E and R and it goes into the star. So this is a kind of like, this is the, the middle or maybe earlier progression of this state before the uh, the, the reverse die uh, failed tremendously. Uh, this one's pretty cool, $75, that is dirt cheap for that coin. Um, so here's another one for 50 bucks. So people were selling these things, they didn't know what they have. So that's unfortunate. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. And then on Coin Community, there were a few people that did discover the coin. Uh, I think there was probably another two or three that people had shared on uh, the Coin Community forum. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and point that out. I think one of them is like way earlier too, earlier um, in a sense but that predates all of these realized sales that we've had here uh, by a few days. So that's where we're looking at. Uh, again, I don't see any more out of the 80 or so completed listings of this particular coin and the error in question. Um, so w what is that? We have four, four examples have sold on eBay. And, um, one of which I guess is the, uh, the double sided cud and crack coin. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So yeah, th that's what we're looking at. As far as realized sales, uh, not much to go on, and quite frankly, it's kind of scary, uh, because with the scarcity of this coin, and with all of the press that's out there, based off of the video I put up, which has like over 20,000 views at this point, along with people talking about it on social media and on the forum chat pages, it's coming up empty all over the place. Um, the, the few that, that people did find, say, on like coin community, they want to keep them. Um, they, there's no way that they're ever going to sniff the secondary market. Um, so quite an exclusive coin. This is something that I think is in much lower numbers than what was originally indicated. Keeping in mind that this is one quarter design out of five that's going to be produced for this year. Um, and I think that the mint, uh, found these right away. Um, and then they did the appropriate steps to uh, preserve the quarter by changing out both dies. They changed out the reverse die first, and then they went ahead and replaced the second die, the obverse die. Um, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, check out some rolls. Uh, show you exactly what we're dealing with here for uh, for trying to source out some of these coins. Now, um, these are sold listings, and, um, you know, people are selling these rolls. Again, they're kind of falling between that $20 to $30 region. Uh, there are people that are asking a lot more money, but they're not really selling, uh, you know, because they're just priced way out in left field. But uh, people are finding more Loomis rolls than they are what they call the NF String and Sun rolls, which has a different, uh, different wrapping paper. Um, I've had personally more luck finding some pretty insane um, coins out of the um, NF String and Sun. Uh, it's almost as if their machinery that sorts the coinage doesn't have the, uh, the, the discriminator feature on it, which pulls out all of the weird shaped coins 
um, that that Loomis, you know, might use for theirs. So that's just speculative, but I've had a lot more luck finding just really neat errors in NF string and sun rolls. So, um, and, and people are, you know, still trying to sell the, uh, the U.S. Mint uh, triple roll set. Uh, you know, they're still commanding a pretty decent margin out there, $100, $110. Um, but the regular P Mint rolls, uh, 20 to $30. Uh, even the Denver Mint rolls are selling in that range as well. Uh, so it's, it's not as if there's a substantial premium for Philadelphia rolls. But if you guys are looking, you know, to, to make a buck or two, um, by trying to find some of these rolls at the bank, you could do that without ever having to crack them open to look for this error, which I think is pretty cool. And it's a way to, you know, two X your money in a week. Um, you know, if you had $500 in the bank account and that's all you had, shoot, I would probably go to the bank and pick up all brand new rolls. And don't be afraid to ask the, the bank teller, Hey, do you have full rolls of the brand new quarters with the American women and all that on there? And then they'll tell you. They'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, we got them more now. Yeah, we just, we have the mixed circulated stuff. So, um, you know, uh, just lead with your attention when you're at the bank. Don't feel scared. Don't feel timid or shy. Just go ahead and, you know, just let them know. I'm here for those rolls because I think it's a really killer looking design. And just use whatever excuse you want just so long you can obtain it. What you don't want to do is pick up the rolls and then send them back to the straight uh, to the same bank and dump them there. Okay, you don't want to do that. Why would you? Because they're selling for such a great amount of money. Here's one singular roll that sold for fifty bucks. So you know there's a few of those odd listings out there, but a lot of them are in that twenty to thirty dollar range. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Just kind of giving you guys an update of where we're sitting as far as pop count of the coin. Uh, as of right now, I'm pretty sure one of these um, have been sent over to Kudzong Coins' attribution site uh, to get it added. Um, it, it, I mean, it's going to be a big one. I think, I think, all things considering, it's going to be more scarce, more valuable, and it's going to be more desired compared to the 2021 Lincoln Cent Retain Cut. And that coin, ladies and gentlemen, is an impressive feat of artistry if you've if you've never seen it go ahead and check out ebay um there's always you know a few of them for sale either just the die crack or the actual retained cut so that's it guys i wanted to uh point that out to you and uh just kind of shoot from the hip let you guys know that that's where we're standing these things are scarce and they are like an instant instant win lottery ticket you know uh, it could be 500 to a thousand dollars do not give these things away uh, they, they do sell for many hundreds of dollars, even just the regular obverse retain cud. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there for my non-viewing audience, you know, who, you know, just found the coin and decided to sell it for $50. So that's going to go ahead and do it, ladies and gentlemen. Be on the lookout for the NF String and Son um, paper rolls. Uh, they'll say NF String and Son, but also say $25 quarters. It won't say Loomis on there. I would check those out before anything else. So I wish you guys the best of luck in all of your hunts. Hopefully you guys find one of these. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any sort of hunting with them because I can't find the rolls. Um, either everybody's too expensive or they're sold out or they're all Loomis rolls. And I don't want to search through those. All right. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Enjoy this coin while it lasts. And then be on the lookout for some of the other really awesome coins, too, uh, of the 2022 date. They are out there for the picking. All right, you guys take care, have a good one, and I'll see you on the next coin video. So long.